Hey Cloud Gamers, today we're having a look at all of the features in GeForce Now that you may or may not know about. So the first one that we're going to look at is probably one of the most popular and that's how to get to the rig information or the machine that you are running on. Now depending on what you're running on, this is Control alt f 6 on Windows or Option alt and f 6 on Mac. And you'll see that this brings up this big black box up in the top left. And this brings up all of the information about the machine that you are running on. Now the most notable things here are the location up in the top left and along that top line as well is the actual type of machine that this is running. So you can see that this is running a GeForce GTX 1080C which is one of the smaller rigs but more than capable for most games. Still a GTX 1080 equivalent. You can see that the resolution here on the stream is 1920 by 1080 and it's trying to stream it at 60 frames per second. The other more notable sections here are in the QoS section. You're looking at the FT, the frame time, and making sure that's as low as possible. And then that last number, the Q, which is 99, which is the best quality, you want that to be as high as possible, up to 100. For a better breakdown of this, I've left a link in the description below of all of the stats from one of the Reddit posts. Once you're running the game, you can choose to show or hide that, just using those hotkeys again. So then if we look at the GeForce menu itself, you can use Control G on Windows to bring this up or Option G on Mac. And you'll get this nice little slide out and you can see some gallery here of some previous highlights, which we'll get into shortly. But right at the top here, this little explanation mark in a chat symbol is the send feedback. If you're having any issues with games or you just want to give some feedback on some of the functionality, then you can hit this button and give a rating as well as some information about the rig that you're currently using and what issue you're getting or just a request or feedback. Then we can go over to the next tab, which is the settings. This is the one if you've missed the highlights pop up at the beginning of the game. You can come in here and see all the highlights for the games that you've got set up and make sure that you're capturing highlights for the things that we want. We'll show a bit of these captures in a little while. One of the features that most people don't know about is the video capture, the instant replay. This is using shadow play on the GeForce Now rig itself. You can set this anywhere between 30 seconds and five minutes. I usually set mine to around five minutes because I can edit the footage later. But if you just want to capture your own highlights, you can leave that set to 30 seconds or a minute. And then after an event, you can go and hit the save button. By default, you can see the files and disk space that areas that this is being saved to. And that gallery location is where your highlights and save files are going to be stored. Shortcuts are very handy. You can see that that is control G for opening the overlay here. You've also got your mic control and your record controls here as well as the screenshot feature. So you control one will capture an in-game screenshot. And we've also got photo mode there as well. For the heads up display, this is not very useful for a lot of people, but if you want to see the status of things like the instant replay record and when highlights are being captured, you can choose where they appear on your screen. You can see toggling these just moves the icons around the screen if they are enabled. Lastly is the notifications. You get lots of toast kind of pop-up notifications coming in, which you would have seen at the start of this video as we turn things on. And you can choose which ones that you actually get notified about. So this record feature, you can also just ad hoc record your gameplay. So rather than it being the instant replay of up to five minutes, you can just record as normal. And again, those captures will be stored in that location earlier. If you're using the instant replay, you can just open this menu or use the keyboard shortcut, which is control zero here by default, and that will save your instant replay again to that folder. One of the other features that you've got here is the game filters. For some reason, this is not active on Fortnite, so I've switched to Apex here just to show the filters functionality. You can store up to three as a quick features or hot features, and you have a vast range of filters that you can choose from here some less useful than others but one of the most used and um, one of the more popular ones is the sharpen filter and that allows you to sharpen the details somewhat and makes things look a little bit more clear and gives the impression that it's higher quality you can also play with the hdr and bloom tones if you want to adjust for your monitor 
but most of the time most people just use sharpen here or putting black and white for nice photos. Once you've set those up you can just use the keyboard shortcuts. So once you've got keyboard shortcuts set up at any point in the game you can just switch between those filters and you'll see those set up. Which is great for setting up screenshots later on in the game when you like those specific filters. You can see from here the games that have freestyle which is the filters enabled so these are the games that you can use filters on. One of the less common features available in the GeForce Now games is the Ansel Photo Mode. Now you can see this when it's available in games because you get this extra photo mode option. And when you select this, you get rid of the HUD and you can change some filters and change the camera angle as well as the field of view to line up your perfect shots for you then to take your screenshot. You can hide the insert and then I can just take the screenshot there. I can pan my camera around and then I can then just exit back out of that mode. And whenever you seem to get a shot that you like, rather than just taking a screenshot as standard, you can then trigger that photo mode to get that perfect shot. Now this is limited and you can see the selection of games available from the website here, which have the Ansel features which includes screenshot and filters, even though that's really classed as freestyle. All of the games here with the star do not have that photo mode, but they do have all of the other features. But the ones without the star have the full photo mode as well. So switching over to Fortnite then, again to see some of the highlights here. You'll see that as we've got the kills here, once you've got that kill, you will see if you've set the notification enabled, a new notification up on the right saying that your elimination has been saved here as that is the highlight that has been saved. That will save a 20 second capture just overlapping when that actually happened. So you get a nice little snippet that you can then upload to where you choose or just to keep as a keepsake. You can see a couple of kills here using the Mandalorian sniper rifle and a few misses as well. Here you can see all of the games that have highlights enabled on GeForce now, so you will be able to use that full functionality. That's pretty much it for all of the features. Let me know if you discover something else for us to cover in future, and hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and we will see you next time.